Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Ruin Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. In the last episode, we did it. We caught most of the fish inside of Misty Boom Cave. We got the sacred rod and we did pretty dang good for ourselves. In this episode, we are tired. And because of that, you know, kind of sucks to suck, but we are. I need to just grab a couple of these items because I'm trying to stockpile them. And we're... I guess I'm just going to take care of all the watering for today and then try to take on Danan Cave. So because I'm tired, it took a lot more energy than it normally would have. So I had to grab some from up here. No sweat. There's also a bunch of Danan, so it's perfect. Archdemon, HP 162, attack 92, defense 17. Its attacks are wind-based, it can critically hit you, and it can paralyze you. Should you tame it, it'll act as a combatant for you, and should you defeat it, it can drop devil blood, fire crystal, and a broken box. Alright, so, as we have done in the past, let's kill those. I don't think I've actually come down here. Just more of the Archdemons, or demons. The Leaf Ball, HP 166, Attack 80, Defense 13. Its attacks are wind-based. It can paralyze you, and it can use the spell Sword Storm. Should you tame it, it will water your crops for you. And should you defeat it, it can drop the plant stem and the fire flower seeds. Okay, and that's three down. I think that's all the ones in Area 1. We still have yet to go in that cave back there. At some point I'll show that. Yep. The Blood Panther, HP 192, attack 115, defense 16. It has basic attacks that can critically hit. Should you tame it, it'll act as a combatant for you. And should you defeat it, it can drop angered fangs and tech bottles. It has been a bit since I've recorded last. I have not been feeling perfect, and things have been kind of stressful with Corona, so I decided to take some time off and just make sure I was doing okay. But everything seems to be fine. Um, okay. Necro. HP 164, attack 101, defense 13. Its attacks are water-based. It can critically hit you, it can seal you, and it can absorb half the damage it deals. Should you tame it, it'll act as a combatant for you. And should you defeat it, it can drop a skull or a poison ring. There we go. I hope I have the water to do this. Honestly, kind of worried about that. There we go. We energized myself. The Little Wizard, HP 153, attack 88, defense 16. Its attacks are water-based, and it can use the spell Water Laser. Should you tame it, it'll water your crops for you. And should you defeat it, it can drop the Magic Crystal, the Wind Crystal, or the Water Crystal. Another one right up here. Now we've seen all those enemies except for the ones on that side path many times before. So let's get into the new stuff. We've seen these enemies before, you know, we had to kill them. Plant Core, HP 179, Attack 100, Defense 14. Its attacks are wind based, it can paralyze you and it can use the spell Sword Storm. Should you tame it, it'll water your crops for you. And should you defeat it, it'll drop strong vine and pom-pom grass seeds. Plant core. Beyond that... What was it? I think there was... Yeah. It's locked. Guess I'd better look around for the key. There's a note posted here. Let's see what it says. I lost my key somewhere in the cave just after the entrance. I don't need it, though, so if you find it, it's yours. Try digging around the field. Treasure Hunter F. Hunter. This sounds like it's worth checking out. So, rather than do that though, actually, I think I do need to do that. Yeah, I do need to do that first. So, this is why I've been skipping out on it. I've not been bothering because, you know, we had to come in here now. Here we go. Yeah. 
Yep, just completely obliterates full field. Okay. I'm going to need a lot of energy for this, all because of the tired status. Even without the tired status, it probably, you know, would have been crappy to begin with. There we go. I didn't expect to find a key here. You got the frozen key. That was actually easy. Cool. <laughs> I wasn't sure where it was in the field. For me, it was up there. I have no idea if it's random or if it's predetermined. Actually, I think I need to go up here. Pretty sure I'm, I've made that mistake before. There we go. Full energy once again. Here I come. Here I come again. I should probably pull out my sword. Um, I think it's up here. Actually, no, I still heard a monster spawn on the screen. Is this considered the open sesame? Oh, you can actually see where it's considered a hitbox or not. That's a weird glitch. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be able to see that. I would guess it's because I was on an emulator, but I'm not on an emulator, so that's weird. I think if we were to go up here, there's like fields up there, but I'm not doing that. Mini Golem, HP 170, attack 83, defense 14. It has a power attack and can topple you when you're hit. Should you tame it, it'll act as combatant for you. And it will never drop anything. The Golems. I forgot they were Golems over here, but I don't think these are... Like, past Gabe... And, well, I guess past Gabe said that they were, you know, not around here. But, like... I don't think those look right. I think they were a different size. I think the mini golem I fought before, or I called them a golem, but, you know, I think they're different. So they might have different stats. No? Weird, I thought I heard a spawn happen here before. But I'm not seeing an enemy. This time we see a return of Tricky Mush, an enemy we've already fought before. It has HP 173, attack 95, defense 14. Its attacks are earth-based and it can poison you. Should you tame it, it'll act as a combatant for you. And should you defeat it, it'll drop poison powder. Nothing's really different here, it's just the same enemy in a new location. Tortoise, HP 172, attack 95, defense 19. Its attacks are water based and it can critically hit you. Should you tame it, it'll water your crops for you. Should you defeat it, it can drop water crystals and turtle shells. Oh, the turtle enemies. Good to see those are around. I was wondering how far into these caves they were. And finally. I thought that... Oh, there's a path here. It won't open. No, I missed a spawner somewhere. It must be on that screen. I'll go check. Oh! I think I know where it is. I think I missed one. I'm pretty sure I only got a couple of the ones that were on the screen. So if I were to go down here, the area I've been avoiding this entire time because I thought it was a dead end... Nope. Then another path, maybe? Yeah, down here. This is... this is it. I completely forgot about this screen. The Hunter Wolf, HP 182, Attack 127, Defense 18. Its attacks are water-based, and it can critically hit you. Should you tame it, it'll act as a mount for you. And should you defeat it, it'll drop quality skin. I think those are supposed to be gold wolves. Kinda look green, to be honest, but yeah. Who am I to judge? 
So if I can get this door open, I can come back here with full HP and MP, or not MP. Yeah, magic power. Mana? RP. RP, that's the thing I'm thinking of. Like I said, I've not been fully well recently. So the noise I was hearing back there, it might actually have been the gate reacting, because the gate was still locked back then. I haven't heard it since I've unlocked it. Weird, I know, but I mean, maybe it was just a trick of my ears or something. Maybe something to do with the music. Future Gabe will isolate and figure it out. Okay. The gate is open. I don't know that I have enough faith to do this. I want to try it once, though. I'm willing to die for this. Right. What is this place? Railroad tracks? What's that doing here? I don't know. And we finally meet her. I suppose an introduction would be in order. Huh? Who are you? Lieutenant Commander Lynette, Commanding Officer of the Empire, 8th Division, Far East Special Recon... Corps, core, whatever it is. Hmm. Um, okay. Not that I expected peasants such as yourselves to comprehend. In point of turns, I'm a member of the, em the Empire Army, overseeing this region. But what interest does your army have in our peaceful town? Okay, I, Blair just scared the crap out of me. She just rubbed up against my leg. I had no idea she was in here. We're investigating a certain monster called the Grimoire, traditionally reported to inhabit this region. In that case, you're too late. Harry defeated the Grimoire and sent it back to its original world. Don't be ridiculous. What you defeated was nothing more than a mere dragon. It would take no small la uh, lack of intelligence to confuse such a thing for the Grimoire, but I digress. The true Grimoire can single-handedly destroy an entire nation. If a country were able to gain control over such a beast, no one on Earth could oppose us. But even if a creature as incredible as that existed, what makes you think you could, it would serve you? Obviously, you don't know the first thing about the Grimoire. What do you mean by that? To some, legends are merely old fables, but others know them for what they really are, keys to unlocking the truth. We searched this region's caves, and we used shifts to randomly summon monsters in a sweep for the Grimoire. Shifts? Is that what those devices in the caves are called? So you're the ones that put them there. Yes, the shifts represent the culmination of the Empire's advanced scientific might. So you're summoning infinite... Oh. Hey, kitty. No, you can't. Get up there. So you're summoning innocent monsters into our world just so you can summon the Grimoire? You're a smart peasant. That's not right! What are you going to do if you find the Grimoire? <laughs> Need you even ask? What fool wouldn't want its amazing powers? I'll never let you do that. Oh? If you don't mind me asking, how do you plan to stop us? I'll fight if I have to. Do you really think you can withstand our army? Please, don't mistake suicide for bravery. You never know until you try. Have it your way. We constructed a secret weapon to neutralize the Grimoire. We'll test it on you. Here we go. It's a steel tank? So this is what they've been up to. Mist, you'd better stand back. Okay. Here we go. The Battle Tank, HP 2000, Defense 12, Magic Defense 40%, Fire Defense 80%, Wind Defense 80%, Earth Defense 80%, defense, Water Defense 20%. Should you have a weapon with Fire, Earth, or Wind, I would recommend switching away or else you'll severely reduce the damage you deal. It can attack using fireball shot out at 45 degree angles. It has a water laser similar to the spell that will fire out of its cannon. During the second phase of the battle, its fireballs will shoot at both 90 degree and 45 degree angles. And it will have a charging laser. It will charge twice before firing on the third time it stops. Like most bosses, it will drop nothing. And also like most bosses, it is untamable. The Empire tank, or I think the battle tank is what section named? Okay, so it'll run on these set paths. It'll pop out one hole. 
and then just fall on the track. I apparently found out a loophole. You get too close and it can't fire its laser. Interesting. Oh, right. Forgot about this. And it's dead. <laughs> Future Gabe here. I, uh... I was sick when I recorded this episode. I was better than I was, but still not great. And I had some complications in my thought processes, <laughs> if that makes sense. I, uh, I don't feel like I handled this the way I should have, so I'm going to show a few more things on the boss. I decided to just use an emulator, cheat my way into the room so that I could, you know, just show off some of the things about the boss. Show off all of its tax patterns, and I'll just have it on screen which one's which, so you know what's actually coming. Just because I'm overpowered and killed it in, you know, not very long at all, doesn't mean that you are. I hope you enjoy this episode, and I'm going to get back to editing. Not too hard, to be honest. Impossible. How could a mere human, a peasant, defeat her ultimate weapon? Could it have been defective? You know, Mist, you could at least pretend to think I still won because of my skill. Oh, right, you're so strong, Raguna. No, I mean it. Thanks. Well, now, it looks like your ambitions are through. I would appreciate if if you would head back to your country. It's not over yet. I won't forget this insolent act. You're not going to chase her? Even a blade imbued with retorn magic can harm humans, right? Yes, against a human it acts as a normal sword. If cut, people will bleed. It can even take a person's life. In that case, I must not fight. Not even against a soldier. Rakuna. Yes? I'm, I'm so happy to have met you. Mist. I'd better get, be getting back. See you back in town. Okay, Mist. Um. Yeah, so. That's cool. I'm glad we upgraded our sword because that battle would have been a lot worse if we hadn't. Uh, it actually has multiple attacks, which I probably covered already. I just didn't show. I just wasn't confident if I gave it time to actually use all of its attacks that I wouldn't die. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I did that, though. Neat. I'd like to talk. If the Empire Army attacked, I plan to make them take baths here to or make extra money. Huh? What are you doing here, Raguna? I'm about to take a bath, so don't you dare peep. I'm not sure I've actually read that dialogue before. Alright, back to Misty Bloom Cave. Now with the rest of our day, we're just gonna be fishing. There's a shrimp. This will be the last one I can do. Sadly, nothing. And I'm back to fishing. I did it. Alright, call that quits for today. And like that, we're actually healed from our status implant. Good morning. They brought in some strange machines. It's so sad. Yeah, it's kind of crappy that they're messing everything up around here. Please, do come Welcome. In. Is it truly over now? Good morning. Um, some kind of magic book called Meteor or something came in. I'm so, so happy you're safe. Morning. I don't like it when it's bad weather. I can't go outside and play. Morning. Libraries are great when the weather is bad. Of course, the only books I can read are picture books. <laughs> Good morning. You were out of your mind to take on that tank, Raguna. Peace has finally returned to this town, hasn't it? And while we're here, it is winter, so is it you? It is you. This is why I didn't do the grinding. I completely forgot about it. You can buy magic powder, and that's a lot more expensive than I thought it was going to be. So, I'll buy both magic powder and roots. 148,000. Here's a good use for our money.
I can always get more money. I would like a few stacks of these. We have more than enough to do everything we need to. I can't believe I forgot about that. I am such a fool. I realized, like, towards the end of the last episode I was doing, wait, didn't Edward have something I wanted to buy during winter? Weird, I never checked that, did I? Yeah, of course. Hmm? You defeated the Empire? Well done. You defeated the Empire tank? Way to go. But how were you able to cut through the tank with your sword? Magic. Also, a really good sword. Well, we're gonna force the Empire out of our country. Thank you very much. I doubt he'll remark, but... Yeah, he won't talk to us. He's too drunk. So this is considered bad weather. A.K.A. snowing. Very lightly. I heard they eat army rations. That doesn't sound too good, eh? Good Mr. Raguna, you are truly awesome. I respect you. Can you wreck their tanks? Truly awesome. What is the source of all that strength you have, Mr. Raguna? You demolished the Empire's tank? Unbelievable. The Empire brought tanks with them too? They're really going all out. Morning. It's still not over. It's still going on. Good morning. I believed Raguna could take them out. Oh, the weather is bad so he won't be working, which means he probably won't talk to us. He defeated the tanks from the Empire? Wow, that's fantastic. And while we're here, let's buy a squid. Okay, we're going after the Lover Snapper. I figure I'll spend like the next five or six hours after this. Tuna. I think I needed one more of those, so perfect. A full flounder. I needed one more of those. Perfect. A lover snapper. The last one I needed, too. Perfect. Alright, and we're done here. I believe I can get the final fish I need out in the regular ocean, so I never have to come back here again. I believe the only fish I could get in Misty Boom at this point would be the Lamp Squid, which I can get out in the ocean, so it's all good. Tuna. These large fish are popular for the delicious taste. They are also very expensive. The Fall Flounder. Schools of these swimming at the bottom of the ocean will hit carpets of fallen leaves. Lover Snapper. A rare type of snapper. Many fishermen doubted these legendary fish even existed. And the Glitter Snapper. This brilliant silver fish is easy to spot, but hard to catch. That's worth 18,000 just for that one fish. That's ridiculous. There we go. They're all shipped. Nice. Raguna! You seem to have saved us all again! If you come up to the steamer and use one flour and one curry powder, you will make the curry manji. One flour will make a bread. Did I seriously turn my pineapples into juice? I'm a freaking idiot. I didn't realize I needed an extra one. I don't have it marked down. Okay, that's a problem that I'll have to sort out another time. If we go to the frying pan and we use an apple, we will get the baked apple. And if we go into the blender and use an apple, we can get the apple juice. If we go to the pot and use an apple, we'll get apple jam. In the oven, if we use an apple, a flour, a small milk, and a butter, we'll make the apple pie. And if we go to the pot, use a curry powder, a wine, a honey, an apple, and a devil blood, we will make the ultimate curry. So the ultimate curry is the item we got as a gift forever ago, and we don't have to ship this one. We can use it, and I'll probably use it right before the final boss battle just to show its effect. If we go in the pot and use a white grass, any sized yogurt, a thing of wine, and a curry powder. Really? It, it's wine, but it's too wine. If we go in the pot once again, we use the curry powder, two things of wine, some white grass, and any sized yogurt. You can make the royal curry, a level 90 dish. In the oven, if we take one shrimp, one milk of any size, one rice, one onion, one flour, and one butter, you can make the seafood doria. Alright, the seafood doria. Doria topped with various seafood ingredients. Sure to fill you up. Curry manju. Spicy curry wrapped in a fluffy roll of dew. Mmm, that sounds so good. Apple pie. Apples are wrapped in pie, crust, and baked. A famous family dessert. 
man, have I wanted apple pie recently, especially Dutch apple pie. It's just, it's just so good. Apple juice, freshly ju uh, uh, fresh juice made from apples, offers the all the flavor, color, and aroma of an apple. All, okay, that there's an extra all in there. Apple jam, apples simmered together with sugar, usually applied to bread. Ultimate curry, the highest potential of curry realized, leaves diners speechless. Just to prove that wrong, royal curry, a curry for kings. Only a master chef can prepare this curry properly. The ultimate curry, I believe, is a level 38 recipe. The royal curry is a level 90 recipe. Yeah. Baked apple. This dessert combines the sweetness of sugar and butter with that of apples. And we did it. So now that we've spoken to most people in town and done a bunch of cooking and things like that, I'm going to advance the plot. Finally, we're time. We're, we are time. Hello. Raguna, is it true you destroyed the Empire tank? Yes, it is. So it's over. No, perhaps there's more to come. What? It's true that I destroyed the tank, but their commander managed to escape. There's a chance their commander will leave more tanks. Yes, a distinct possibility. Right. Why do you think that the Empire wants to invade us? I heard that they're looking for Grimoire. Grimoire? But Raguna, I thought you would send it back to its former world. That's what I thought too, but somehow Grimoire must have been a different creature. Is that so? It's almost like all the villagers made that claim based on nothing. Mr. Mayor, could you please issue me a pass for the last cave? Grimoire may be in there. Of course. You got a pass for Greed Cave. This is the last cave in Guardia. Raguna, thanks for your hard work. Take care. This is it, guys. The final dungeon. It's the final countdown. We're not going yet. Okay, at the pharmacy, we're gonna take a little crystal, a root, a white grass, black grass, and a medicinal herb to make the heart drink. So I made this thinking I was actually a lower level pharmacy than I was, but I'm actually doing alright as far as that goes, so I don't really need to use those to grind. So I need devil blood. Okay. So we need some devil blood. Because of that, I'll just be killing these for... Wow. <laughs> alright, that's awesome. I need a good handful of devil blood for different things. So if I just go around killing these guys until the end of the day, then I can make some new pharmacy stuff. That's two already. Oh, fire crystal. Dang, I thought that was a third one already. Are you, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, today is a good day. Today is a good day to die. For you guys, that is. Oh, more devil blood. Nice. Oh, a needle spear. That's the weapon they use. The Needle Spear scares foes with its sharp blade, slows down enemy advances. Uh, it's a little, I don't know, 21 attack, paralyze A. It's not really great compared to our weapon, but that's because I made a really good weapon. But you know, has a chance of just you know paralyzing the enemy. Pretty nice. Today's a good day for teleport. Over here at the pharmacy, we're gonna use one Devil Blood two earth crystals and a magic powder to make a terra element. A devil blood to wind crystals and a magic powder to make the arrow element. A devil blood to fire crystals and a magic powder to make a flare element. Arrow element increases the power of wind magic by one Flare element increases the power of fire by one, and terror element increases the power of earth magic by one. Each of them are good for, you know, upping your stats. 
we will be, of course, shipping them. There we go, guys. Alright, here in Danon once again. But this time, we're going after this enemy. This little pest can actually hold a very important item for us right now. The plant stem. If we can get the drop, then it's great. I'll be able to make yet another good item. Fantastic. Alright, plant stem done. Okay, sweet. Another enemy. Okay, we're going to be going after the strong vine once again. So, you know, very similar enemies. Might as well take care of them one after another. It's not very kind, is it? I remember being pretty uh, stingy the last time I tried to farm it as well. Nowhere near as kind as those devils up at the front. Kind of ironic that I would say that, to be honest. There we go. I just got sealed. Thank you. I was smart enough to bring anti-seal medicine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I got it. The strong vine. Perfect. Goodbye. If we take a strong vine, an earth crystal, and a magic crystal, we'll make the formula A. It's not a great item. I've shown it off before, I think, but, you know, we could buy this. It's mainly just to show off that we could and to ship it, I think. Now, if we go in, use a root, a devil blood, an earth crystal, a plant stem, and a little crystal, we'll make the greenifier. This levels up your crop by one, should you use it during its, uh seeding phase. I believe you can only use it once per cycle, in this game at least, but you know, it's a nice thing to know how to make. I think you can buy it? I'm not 100% positive on that, to be honest. Okay, Greenifier improves crop quality. Must be used on season only once per harvest. Okay, I'm glad I ran on that. Formula A, advances the growth of field, uh, field crops by one day. You must sleep for the effect to work. So you could use this every day and you'd be able to cut off the uh, growth rate by half. So for something that, you know, grows over the course of 20 days, it'd only take 10 days of, you know, continuously using one of these a day. It's not worth using them if you're going in and uh, making them. But if you, you know, mass bought these, it would be a pretty good deal. All right, those two things have been shipped. Alright guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. Uh, I don't know that we'll be starting Greed Cave immediately, and if we do, we definitely will not be finishing it next episode. Before we finish Greed Cave, I want to take care of everything I can take care of before I finish Greed Cave. We still have uh, some fish left to catch, uh, two that I believe we've never caught, one of which is available in Greed Cave. We, of course, have some more dishes we need to make. We need to just take care of everything. I don't have tomatoes or pineapples. So because of that, I may just have to mass buy some uh, formulas and just use a bunch of those. But we're nearing the end of the game here. My best guess is we'll be done in five episodes. But I'm not really sure about that. Guys, next time, we're just going to figure it out as we go along. <laughs> I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.